In this example, we'll use the conservation of mass to find an unknown velocity. So just a reminder for a differential fluid element, the conservation of mass or the continuity equation looks like this. And what we're going to be trying to work out this time is for a steady and incompressible flow, we're given the u velocity and we're given the value of the velocity at the origin, uh, but we don't know v. So when might this happen? Well, maybe I conducted an experiment, but I only measured u. And v is an unknown. It turns out I can save myself a whole bunch of effort here, right? I can just go measure u, and if I know it's a two-dimensional flow, I can find v directly, and I don't actually have to measure both. So this could save me some time, and time is money when you're conducting experiments. So, how are we going to do this? Well, we're going to use the conservation of mass, uh, which again looks like d rho dt plus d rho u dx plus d rho v dy plus d rho w dz equals zero. And this is going to be, well, we didn't write it down. You know, I'm going to modify this slightly make sure that we specify everything. This is a 2D flow. So let's simplify this every way we can. First off, it's steady. That lets us get rid of the time derivative. Steady. It's incompressible. That lets us get rid of the densities. They all pull out of the derivatives. And then we can divide it out. And since this is 0 over here, they just go away. And lastly, it's 2D. Let's work in x and y and let z go away. And so the version of this equation that we need to solve is du dx plus dv dy equals 0, uh, which we can rearrange slightly. Since we're looking for v, let's get that on the left-hand side here. And just write uh, dv dy is equal to negative du dx. Well, we have u, so we can sub that in, minus d by dx of this thing here, which is x squared plus y squared, and we can even evaluate that derivative, right? The derivative of this with respect to x is just minus 2x. So now we just have some math to do dv by dy is equal to minus 2x. This is now a separable differential equation, so we can multiply this up as dv on the left-hand side minus 2x dy on the right-hand side. We can integrate both sides, and where we'll be left is we'll have v is equal to, the integral of this with respect to y is just 2xy. Uh, but because we don't have limits on there, we need a constant of integration. Well, we were given an initial condition which said that at the origin, where x and y are 0, v was equal to some initial velocity, v0. And so we can write using use uh, the given condition, we can write that v of 0, 0 is equal to minus 2 times 0 times 0 plus c. And we were told that that has to be equal to v0, which just tells us that c is equal to v0, and that our final answer v of x and y is equal to minus 2xy plus v0. And so this is really nice because we can now do half the work in our experiment and get the full flow field as a result. If you know one of the velocity components, you can usually solve for the other. This gets trickier in 3D, but in 2D, it's certainly manageable.